Hello, 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 and welcome to another edition of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. TNT D I N O M I G H T. What's up, Jonas? I just noticed that you're rolling your eyes at me while I was what? doing my intro, you I son of a do, bitch. I wasn't doing it because of your intro. Uh, okay, all right. I was right. doing it because of my life, Jonas. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I don't know which is one is more sad to me. I'm going through. Uh, <laughs> your man's right. can be going through a lot internally over all here. Right, all right, man. I, I'm here for you, so they're here for you. Thank you so much for joining us live on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash crazy town media live. Also live on YouTube. Uh, just search Crazy Town Media. There it is. Wow. Do you're, it. You're showing them, pointing to it. <laughs> Make sure you follow us on social media at Crazy Town Media. CrazyTown.com is our website. And if you want to hear a replay without the video of our pretty non faces or whatever, Spotify and iTunes, Crazy Town Podcast. It's there. Find it. TNT. Hi. It's the middle of May, dude. It is the middle of May, dude. You're right. Yeah, we're almost to the unofficial start of summer. When does summer start anyway? Uh, I don't, honestly, it's in I don't June know. technically, but Memorial Day to Labor Day is kind of like unofficial oh, summer. Shit, so it's gonna get hot and shit, right? Oh, dude, we're about 90s every day in Texas here in about two weeks uh, until November. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what's been going on with the news week for you, there, friend, old pal of mine? I live with this. <laughs> <laughs> hey. No, nothing's going on, man. What nah, dude. No, there was no fucking news this week. Nothing there was happened. some, dude. There was oh. one really big news story that no one is talking about but us. Well, we're about to. No, because, wait, what? But we're the only one that is talking about yeah, it? Yeah, it should be very big news, but I haven't heard anything about it really anywhere. <laughs> is it the STEM school, sh the STEM school shooting? No, that happened last week. We talked about that. Yeah. Thoughts and prayers. We Thoughts to all those people. Yeah, but the news isn't. Oh, did you hear that that there was some kids that tried to uh, stop the shooter and one of them did get shot and died? I noticed that it hasn't been getting any press. I know, right? And there was one, the dude in North Government. Carolina. There was a, the N North Carolina University had a shooter. The guy tried to stop him and got. Mm -hmm. Look at our fine citizens standing up against the terror hey, and being man. like, look, dude. If you were in a, if somebody came in somewhere and started shooting, do you think you'd be the I'm guy that go after? Fucking finding a corner to cry in. What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? Cornercrying.com. That is my main way of dealing with anything. <laughs> Any You're like, Where how are you I today? Where's the corner I'm crying? Yes, my tears will protect me. Okay. You, you got too. Bulletproof tears. Yeah. <laughs> Your bulletproof tears. Will I ain't you. no fucking hero. I'm not even gonna sit up here and act like, yeah, dude, I'd get out there and I no, dude, I'm fucking running like a bitch. <laughs> Pushing people out the way. <laughs> Fuck it, dude. <laughs> All right. We uh we rock, paper, scissor, or are we just going with it? Yeah, let's do it, All right. dude. One, two, three, ha. One, two, three, ha. Oh, shit. Every week we do the same thing first. Paper? No, dude. What? It, well, like, every week we've done this, we've had to do it more than once because we always tie on the first well, round. It makes for good content, you know? It does, dude, especially when people are listening on Spotify and can't hear us smacking <laughs> our fists. <laughs> well, if you must know, I put out paper and Jonas put out you scissors. You just missed the most intense rock, paper, scissors battle ever. You should be watching this on Twitch or YouTube. Or Periscope, D Live, Jonas, Mix. Nobody's watching on Periscope. Dude, everybody is watching nobody. on everything. All right, All right, go on with your right. goddamn Here's story. Here's the story, dude. I'm going to bring up. Yeah, hurry up. Let's go. Global fucking warming. Yeah, you, me, and everybody else saw Bill Nye. No, no, no. Well, I'm going to touch on that. But yeah. there's a reason why this is getting big press right now. It was hilarious and delightful. Well, I will tell everybody about Bill Nye first then, I guess. So, oh, Bill boy. Nye, the science guy. Uh, a lot of people, little, uh, hey, people who are kind of young adults now. No, had Bill Nye on TV. They're like, hey, man, he was a science guy. He taught me about fucking photosynthesis. Yeah. So he was on uh, John Oliver the other night. He was. It and was a good uh, show, he's now being it. pretty wholesome for the most part. Bill Nye <laughs> comes on, sets the earth on fire, talking about the planet is on fucking fire. Literally says fucking. Yeah. And my favorite part about it was when he said, I didn't mind teaching you guys photosynthesis when you were 12, but. 
This is an actual crisis, and you're adults now. You're like, fucking adults now. <laughs> Grow up. Right. Obviously, the biggest point is it's not going to be free to fix global warming. <laughs> free. But it needs done, or we're going to die. Uh, I mean, it won't. Really I mean, we are going to die, but some people that we know in the future will be dead. I don't know if I'm going to know any of those people, Jonathan. Maybe not. Like, look, I don't want to take that flipping stance because I'm like, well, dude, I'll probably be gone by the time the planet's uninhabitable. Yeah, right, right. And right. I don't have any children and everybody else in my family's older than me, so. Okay, um, all right. So you're saying like your bloodline will be long gone before this is a problem. No, nah, I mean, well, probably some great nieces or nephews. Oh, okay. Or I got but, you. Something like that. I don't know them. <laughs> Here's the big story that no one is talking about. What's the story? Do you know what the biggest um, problem with global warming is? Is the amount of carbon dioxide in the air. Uh -huh. Do you know why that's a problem? Because the cows fart? No. Because carbon dioxide traps heat. Basically, Venus, the hottest planet in the solar system, is full of carbon dioxide in the air. Jonas is giving us a goddamn <laughs> chemistry lesson. Well, right. All but right, here, I'm listening on the here's tree. the problem. I like when you talk smart. Ah, I can be intelligent no, sometimes. I, I'm more than dick and fart jokes. No, I swear to no, God. He, I, look, I'm I live educated. with him. He is not. That is all he has. <laughs> That's all I got. Keep it going. So, for the first time mm -hmm. ever. I'm intrigued. In human existence. Now I have a heart on. The carbon level is higher than it's ever been. 415 units per million i don't know what that means uh basically it means if it keeps this trend up mm -hmm. the planet will be an uninhabitable because what it said was oh, yeah. two million years ago it was maybe this high but the sea level was like twenty five thousand times or twenty five thousand feet higher yeah, yeah, yeah. the planet was hotter there wasn't humans here so now this is being caused by us yeah so basically a lot of like scientists are like, this is big fucking news, man. Yeah, like, and saying, no one is talking about. They're it. saying like a four degree shift in the temperature can lead to catastrophic, events. right? Extinctions of species, at, like mm -hmm. sea levels. Like yeah. they, they said, towns like New Orleans, Miami, Amsterdam, some other low level cities could just be wiped off the fucking That's face true. of the earth. That's very true. If the sea levels rose, so basically, um, what's happening is like we need to get our shit in order. <laughs> and some countries are actually doing it. The UK and Ireland have both declared a national climate emergency. Yeah. But here's my question. What? It's one thing to be like, this is a problem. It's another to actually do something about it. So well, what the fuck are they going to do? I mean, look, like countries or at least the heads of countries aren't like uh, temperamental teenagers that are like, I'm going to clean my room. Usually if they say they're going to do something, they actually take steps to do that. How effective it's going to be when the rest of the world doesn't give a fuck, that's another thing altogether. Uh, that's very true. But I'm sure that they're making steps. I yeah. Mean, oh, I'm sure. Well, I mean, this just recently happened, so I'm sure it's going to take time, obviously. I mean, no, that was just a report that came out that said we have to change shit. Yeah, you went put out a report. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. they were like, okay, we should probably, and there's like been stupid students protesting like i think it's kind of cool that young people are like hey this is gonna affect th it's not gonna affect them they're all gonna be dead too probably but <laughs> they get it a little bit but uh the other thing i saw today in 1982 mm -hmm. exxon put out a report basically saying that all of this shit was coming they predicted the exact amount of carbon that is right now in 1982 but here's the big point about that. Yeah. They were well aware of what was happening and have done did nothing over the last 30 years to even make it known that this was going to be a problem. Funding, fam. Funding. Dude, they're making money Who's gonna, off, the, off of the what? geysers, dude. Off Black of knowledge. Gold, Texas tea, bro. So in reality, Jonas, nice, nice joke, by the way. So in reality, <laughs> they don't have the funding to really even do anything. Who? The Exxon? people, the end of the people that know that the shit is happening Dude, and want to like stop it. that's like the tobacco it. industry being like, smoking ain't bad for you. Hit them, hit them puffs. <laughs> I mean, dead. technically they do. Yeah, dude. So what do you think, man? What do I think about what? Global warming. We got to stop the cows from burping because it's not <laughs> farting, it's burping. I remember that from the- The, the cows burping? Yeah, the cows Oh, shit, burp. dude. Okay. We got to stop the cows from burping. I never understood, like for a long time, I never understood what was the connection between- livestock and the emission gas okay what is it i don't it has it. to do with like f flatulence of the animals oh okay and well i mean it also has to do with us burning fossil fuels yeah but i mean that's not like just the cattle like i'm trying to figure out still i don't have a full grasp okay. of it i'm not even gonna lie this is me in my natural form wow. i still do not understand how 
the production of meat equals more emissions gas. But everybody keeps saying it's like we got to take down the amount of meat we're eating to help out with emissions. Is it just because the cows are burping all the time? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't know. They're, they're breathing out so much CO2 that it's affecting yeah. the air. In my mind, I'm like, okay, if the cows are burping and we let them live, then that's just more cows to be burping up our air. Oh, but you know, we should also stop driving, like, uh, start driving electric cars. Yeah, too. dude. There, I think some countries are going green and shit. But, they're, yeah, they're know, getting to it, man. Hey. Tesla is a great idea. It just needs to be more affordable. And they, their their CEO's a little crazy. CEO? Yeah, their guy. Uh, Elon? He's not a part of the company anymore, did he? Oh, uh, they boot him out? Yeah, a while ago. Oh, he's yeah, making... they said the SEC was like, bro, you're too yeah. crazy. You got to get the F out. He was making too many crazy tweets. Oh, that's a good story, Joe. You know Jonathan. what? What? If they took anyone off the internet who was making crazy tweets, it'd be an interesting situation. If they took anybody off the internet if, who was making... If anyone was making crazy treats, they had to give up their position. Oh. It'd make for an interesting world, wouldn't it? What are you trying to say? Dude, about anybody. A, just anybody. John Bon Jovi out no, there talking shit. It sounds to me like you're insinuating that uh, somebody in a higher position... Should he lose Kim Jong Un and his Twitter going crazy <laughs> out there? Perhaps the most powerful seat in the land. What anyway. do you got for us? Here? All right, man. We're Are gonna... You got a palate cleanser? Uh, that was a little dreary. I didn't actually, need to... dude, the next one's kind of fucked up. Oh shit! We're gonna All start right. off with the fact that uh, Aunt Becky. Aunt Becky, she yeah. cleared. Uh, it was all. A, it was all a farce. No, she's probably gonna do some time, maybe pay some fines. Ooh. Um, the guy that was behind it, I don't remember his name because I really don't care about. Yeah, the story. Dude. but the fact is, is that there's already a book written about this. The book's not out yet. Somebody's been writing fast. But it's also been picked up as a TV series. Oh God. Called Accepted, or that may be the name of the book. I'm not sure. I mean, like. Is there really anything to put on TV? Like they're all like, Dude, Here, here's the whole, here's the whole show. Hey, I'll give you 500 K if you get my daughter into Stanford. No, okay. No, I could see it, dude. You like have like the rich family. I'm thinking like the blues family. Like the blues from Rest of Development? <laughs> yeah, like, I'm, thinking, like, like, I'm thinking like the blues family, and then they send one of their kids to go take the test. No, he's going to take the test for you to hand the money over, and then it's like him and like this Ivy League college, and he's stupid as fuck. Oh, that one! I would watch that. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like uh like like an out of place person comedy. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a slapstick comedy. It's I a fish be... out of water. Oh, I don't know if that's what it is. Oh, huh? fish out of water story. Yeah, yeah I don't like... know if that's what it is. And look at this dumbass at Harvard. <laughs> <laughs> but that was just a quick one on that one. Uh, also, PUBG Mobile. Hey, you love PUBG. I love PUBG. You what? have never played PUBG. I have not put it in my Xbox. All once. right, I have played PUBG, and it's a great game. China got a hold of it, and you remember what we were talking about what before. They take out <laughs> everything. It's now it's so, a it's now it's a My Little Pony simulator. <laughs> so now, when you use guns just like normal, but when you shoot your your enemy and you da -da -da -da, and they take enough damage, they get down on their knee, they put all of their gear that they have on into a box, and they wave at you instead of bleeding out. It's much more kid friendly. So it's like paintball. <laughs> you like put a little plug in the end of your gun and like raise your arms up. And just... No, he just like gets down on one knee and just waves at you and smiling and puts all of his gear in a box and you just go through the box right there, dude. He put it in there for you. Oh, dude, it's like super nice, right? So wait, they just remade the whole game. Why didn't they do that with that other one you talked about? Uh, I don't know. I think he's too popular. Yeah, they're and they're, they're starting to lose some steam out there. I mean, they're nowhere near as popular as they was and they wanted the china port so easy money grab release hey, something man. that china can ingest hey we got a lot of problems with china ports right now <laughs> uh one more quick one disney just bought hulu i saw that you know what that means jonas that everything's coming off hulu well i don't know if everything's coming off hulu oh, okay because they still have the contracts to show the shows that they have but that means disney entertainment on hulu on demand oh boy why are you not excited do you not like the, the little mermaid dude i'm, I'm i yeah dude they ain't putting that shit disney has their own streaming they're not putting their shit on hulu this is their own streaming no they have disney live well now they got hulu, hulu disneylive.com and i've noticed an uptick in hulu commercials too have you noticed dude, that I just, on youtube dude, you i hate that? that the streaming market is now like cable TV. Yeah, it's basically becoming cable TV. It literally is. Like, like I mean, I don't watch shit and I don't care. Yeah. But if you want like all the different shows, you gotta have NBC's online. You gotta have, mm -hmm. and as you're paying a hundred dollars a month, you might as well have fucking cable. 
Dude, as much as I don't care for YouTube, please pay me. Um, <laughs> at least it's like just it's not it's unaffected content to me, and that's why I have such a strong affinity with YouTube now. There's the commercials that I have to put up with. Yeah, you know they're short and fucking. It's just not like big business taking over my TV screen. We should it's, make a sitcom. No. And put it on our YouTube channel. No. It'll be like a reality show. No. It'll be like just us hanging out. No. Yeah, dude. It'll be like, oh, dude, look what TNT's doing. Yeah, I'm sure they want to watch me beat off 15 <laughs> times a day. It could be NSFW, <laughs> Riv dude. Riveting entertainment. Hey, man, you never know. We could put it on Pornhub. Oh, <laughs> We're talking yeah, about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Load all the podcasts up on Pornhub. <laughs> you can put them on Pornhub. Yeah, dude. Um, the untapped market. They're all like, I just went watching porn. Let me watch Jonas and TNT talk about news. Hey, maybe it's a, it's a fucking uh, dude. If somebody cap, if somebody tips, will you spread your ass for them? <laughs> I know. <laughs> what do you mean? No, no dude. There's no. <laughs> we could just play video games and spread ass, dude. Oh, oh boy, <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that might be your dream. <laughs> it's not my dude, dream. Dude, if somebody wants to give me money for spreading my ass, I'm gonna <laughs> spread my ass, dudes. Give me some bits right now. No, We're dude, on no, Twitch. I give me some want, bits. I'll that. spread my ass so wide. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you two <laughs> bits not to do that. How about that? All right. Well, those were supposed to be quick stories, but it went a little over. So oh, no, that's all good, dude. You. I got Go. you. Okay. I'll save my other one. Have you ever heard of track and field? <sighs> Man, you know what? I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I missed you. All right. <laughs> I did, dude. Did you? <laughs> From a little bit ago to now? Yeah. Okay. Keep it moving. If if I had to say, if I said to you, track and field tragic accident, what would what would you what would you think of? What would be the tragic accident? From Ooh, track, and field. track and field it's got to either be something with the hurdles okay the pole vault okay or ugh, javelin okay all right we'll say all right so there's a university of georgia mm -hmm. you know it might be it might be uh that florida georgia line situation that's a band jonas i know Do you listen to them? oh dude they're my deep cut not no dude i don't know anything about them they're country boy i know watch, heard that elijah mouth. godwin he was a sprinter, freshman sprinter, fresh out the roost <laughs> into the brand new adult world, running track and field. Uh huh. So he's at practice doing practice things. Yeah. He and he has to do this drill, running backwards. Running backwards. Yeah, dude. I, I guess it makes him faster going forward. How's that a drill? What if you practice running backwards, you go faster forwards. That doesn't make sense. Except there was one problem. Oh, dude, if it goes in his ass, I'm done. <laughs> he uh, happened to impale himself on a javelin sticking oh, out of the ground. I called it, you dude. Did. So he's running backwards. He impales himself on a javelin sticking up out of the ground. Where did it hit him at, man? Uh, Right through his chest. Oh, fuck, Jonas. F five or six inches fuck. deep. Collapsed his lung. Fuck. Stop, dude. <laughs> it said, but he survived. Stop. It's. They said that he, there was a large amount of blood on the yeah. grass, oh, and he was spitting blood up out of oh, his mouth. Yeah. Okay, so I he's just like, that. Da, 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 and like it's like a whole classic like horror movie, and there's blood like coming out of his mouth. And then, then they're just like, oh, he's okay. He he's alive. He survived. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the most interesting part about that sympathy pains. He uh, that's the worst he got part. Got stabbed by the opposite end of the javelin. Well, what the fuck? The, the fucking part that doesn't even hurt. <laughs> you tell. Let me shove something through your rib cage six inches. You tell me. How do you? Hurt. How does he get the stab out of the both ends in? are tapered, bro? One what? end has a fucking spear on it. The other end is just you know. Is this tapered to a like a rounded tip? Dude, whatever oh. it was, it blunted into his into oh, his chest. Oh, dude, I feel it now. Stop. Yeah, it's, nah, dude. It's only collapsed lung. You no. got two. No. Well, I got one. That, so my question is. I got one too. Do you think he's gonna? Do you think he's gonna want to run anymore? For you, no. Fuck that shit, dude. That Can he sue the school for that? Probably. I one hundred percent would. <laughs> just cause? Are just you fucking kidding me? 
Wow. Yeah, dude. Okay. You imagine this fucking doctor bills. That's what people usually sue for. Contrary to popular belief, now everybody's suing out there just to get rich. Yeah, it's like this happened to me. I got a billion dollars. <laughs> exactly. Like I just want that paid, dude. Because our medical, our healthcare system is a flawed. Ah, dude. Yeah, what do I you hate mean? to be that guy. I would have never thought that anyone in any position of anything in this country would be deceitful to the public. Yeah. <laughs> Tell that to Martin Scarelli. Ooh. <laughs> All right, Jonas. Oh, bro. You want to come with the heat? I'm coming with some heat of my own. Oh, you got the heat. I see you. All right. I don't know the, the where this took place. I don't know the names of the people involved, but I'm going to make them up as I go along. Okay. So his name is Daryl. He's hanging Does out. Does he with, have a brother named Daryl? Uh, no, but his dad's name is Daryl. Okay. So Daryl and Daryl Jr. hanging out in the uh -huh. garage. Working on a car, getting sweaty, doing oh, man things, dude. clinking together a beer. He's only 18, but his pops let him drink on oh, the phone dude, on the weekend that's a sometime. nice dad. Right? Yeah. Do you remember? Dar <laughs> you anyway. Go ahead. Like, All right. All no, right, dude, yeah. it's cool. I remember. So Daryl Darryl and Daryl, they're, they're drinking their beer, you know. Um, he starts getting a crick in his neck, Jonas. He decides to try to pop that out of there Jonas and burst a fucking blood vessel in his neck cutting off the blood flow to his brain oh, and Christ. giving himself a stroke oh my daddy Daryl or younger buck Daryl little Daryl Daryl Jr. Daryl Jr. so his dad oh had to rush God. him his dad had to rush him to the hospital holy um, shit they were <laughs> yeah crack pop dead he uh, so, die? no he didn't die Whew. but his brain died he goes brain dead essentially oh so he's a vegetable now <laughs> no joe was getting there okay so, all right i'm just trying to make so sure his father because his father was there with him they were able to get him to the hospital in town or, or in time i should say okay and uh they said that if they had gotten him there but 30 seconds later 30 seconds he would have suffered what they call fuck hold on uh, uh, wow, dude, I can't wait to have fuck hold on happen to me. <laughs> he would have been a vegetable. He would have lost all functions of his body and just been a thought in a catatonic like state. Essentially. So, so yes, don't crack your neck, man. Let it get stiff. So what are you supposed to do? That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> don't crack it. Let it get stiff. <laughs> All you guys out there. So yeah, if you can crack your neck or just like you know, you know how you do. You've done it before, right? I, do, I don't do that. I do what do you? Try. How do you? How do you do it? I do it like this. Oh god, I... if he has a stroke. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you, all right. You, yeah, <laughs> you made it. I made but it. But this is the shit that hypochondriacs just fucking do not like to hear. Just thinking of oh, yourself, dude. just like, oh, I'm just gonna pop my neck a little bit, and you can literally cut off the brain flow to your head the and. Dude. The brain flow to your head. Yeah, the blood I mean, flow I, to I your got brain. What you do? <laughs> the blood flow to your brain. The brain flow to your head, folks. But oddly enough, I knew what he was talking about. And yeah, I thought dude. he was being shit is wordy. wild, man. So let your neck stay stiff, man. You're just gonna have to live with that. Yeah, dude. How do you crack your neck then? Let I Cairo don't, do dude. Not even. I haven't sensed the story. So if the Cairo strokes you out, you good? I usually do like one of these, and that pops it. No. You pop oh, I guess I like. I do like the rotation. Okay. More or less. Yeah, I mean that'll work. Oh yeah, that feels. Good. Yeah, that's dude, it does. does. Give me a back massage. I heard that you're not supposed to go all the way back and rock it like this. You're supposed to just go forward only. Like that? Yeah, like so, yeah, because if you go all the way back, oh. maybe you can pop a blood vessel in the back of your neck. I just hit the floor right yeah, here. Yeah, you're just like, oh, dude, I'm good, dead. <laughs> you'd be like, <laughs> get up, dynamite. <laughs> dynamite, you're always a jokester. <laughs> that would make such good content, dude. Have a stroke for the channel. Dude, I can't. I'm trying to quit. <laughs> Come on, dude, have a stroke. It would be great. No. We got a tape you haven't <laughs> <laughs> Tape, we got, got live feed. When was the last time you were on a submarine? We go viral. I've never been on a sub, actually. Is that like a common thing? Do people get when to go on sub? last time you ate a submarine? Uh, I had a veggie sub on Friday. Oh, shit, dude. It was trying delicious. To the last time I had a submarine. Hoagie. Oh, whole wheat bread. It's been a while. Yeah. yeah, I got like you don't, a, you don't do Subway? Is that not your I mean sometimes I do. Is that not your bag? I mean I'll eat it, I guess. You a Jimmy John's boy? Nah, dude. I, Firehouse? Firehouse is bomb, dude. I've never But had their em. shit is so bad for you. It's like, here, do you want tons of meat and barbecue sauce and cheese? Yes. Like, fuck yes. And I'm like, <laughs> they're like, you trying to be healthy? Yes. They throw you out the door. Piss on you. <laughs> 
Okay. All right. That's what I'll they do. I've I'll been there one time. I tried to talk about dieting. They literally attacked me. Wow. But when you walk in, you have to sign a paper, and then so that's a lot. You sign a paper? No, not really. Okay. It's like you're letting them save you. It's like, yeah, dude, firehouse. Exactly. <laughs> so, India. India. I've been there. Have you? In my dream. Oh, uh, my dream is to go to India with you. Uh, that's in my nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> my dream to go anywhere with you is a nightmare. Um, So... They have their first nuclear submarine. How'd they get one? They built it. They just built a nuke sub? Yeah, dude. I mean, they're so not, we got to go to war. They're not. No, they're not one of the countries that we say can't have nukes. Why so they're not? cool. What they're, are they, they're, they going to do with it? Well, they're going to drive it around. No, nah, fuck nuclear that. It's nuclear-powered. I don't... It, uh, they might shoot nuclear missiles. I mean, I don't know. Oh, it's a nuclear-powered sub? I think so, yeah. You said a nuke sub. What it do you says, think I was going to say? It says think? nuclear missile sub. So, may, like, I think it's <laughs> nuclear powered. It's a moot point what it is because... It like... really is not because if it shoots nuclear <laughs> missiles, it's a problem. If it's nuclear powered, I'm like, dude. What, so if it's nuclear powered and it shoots missiles, that's, that's okay? That's okay. Yeah, okay. dude. There's a range of okay to okay to wait a minute. What okay. the fuck you need Dude, nukes? we have nuclear subs. Yeah, but we're America. We didn't, have, <laughs> we didn't have. We came out of the womb with a handgun. Came out of the womb. Chris, Christopher Columbus came over here, fucking with a no, nuclear sub. Leif Erikson, motherfucker. Oh, uh, Leif Erikson, dude. Yeah. He was, a, was he a Viking? Yeah. Your descendant to him. Oh. All right. Continue. His name's Leif, though, dude. Yeah, well, your name's Jonas. Ah. <laughs> Both of those names dude, are terrible. Should I rename myself? Should I rebrand yes. myself as Leif? I told you what to name yourself, dude. Leif. No, not Leaf. Joni Two Guns. <laughs> Joni Two. Da, 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 <laughs> Joni Two Guns here with TNT. No, dude. <laughs> Anyways, this submarine cost three billion dollars to make. Three billion dollars. Okay. Three billion dollars. I'll and take your like, word for you it. Know, well, what ended up happening? Uh huh. It flooded. It's not even airtight. No, dude. I mean, it is. No, it's not. It is. No. Nah. Somebody it, left the door. Open. Someone left the door open. So they had a three <laughs> horsey Buckingham. That should be my name. That's your name. No, no, no. So yeah. So a three billion dollar sub. They left it at port. Someone left the uh, propulsion compartment un unhinged. Dumb fuck. Flooded sake. the fucker up. And it sank, right? Well, it didn't sink. But it was out of commission for an entire year oh. because the seawater got in and they couldn't, like, risk anything that, like, housed nuclear material. They were like, we got to replace all this shit. So, like, that so, yeah. Sucks. So, it probably cost them another billion dollars to fucking replace it. Yo, but, like, somebody's stupid. Uh, Yeah. Dude, like, yeah. you leave, close the door behind you, In man. the article, it compared it to, I think it was the United Kingdom Navy put, like, Windows XP on a on a fucking <laughs> submarine. It blue screened on them. Like, <laughs> I like, heard about that, yeah, actually. Yeah, I was like, was why are these ago. militaries using fucking... Uh, Dude. I'll put Windows 3.1 on it, dude. I mean, they're just normal goot. They're just normal dudes, I guess. I mean, they don't they're know gonna better. fuck up sometimes. I mean, you would think the Navy would have an IT guy going... Hey guys, you don't want to put that level of my wheels on you. I'm going to Linux. It's my M support on the backbone, you know? Actually understood all of that. Yeah, dude. It like, <laughs> was just fucking jargon. Jargon, yeah, all. dude. Linux and backbones. So, yeah, that's what happened. Uh, and, uh, yeah, they're stupid. Good job, Jonas. That was a good story. Was it? I'm I so give happy you... that you appreciate my content. <laughs> I want to give you props on that story. All right. It was a good story. Oh, thanks, friend. Which one do I go thanks, with? Thanks, Horsey Bucky. <laughs> Joni Two Guns Horsey. approves. Joni Two Gun approves. Cut, 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 cut. That was me firing my guns. I'm going to tell you right now, motherfuckers, we ain't even going to talk about James Charles. You get it. I don't know who that is. I didn't think you would. Uh, but they do. Oh, wait. Is that the guy from We're not talking about it. Okay. <laughs> We're not going to talk about it. I don't know. It. Is that the guy who's... All right, okay, Jonas. Cool. So there's a new beverage on the fucking market. Oh, uh, dude. Is it bottled urine? No. You... I hear that sanitary. No, Jonas. You know that I love a good LaCroix. Do you? I do. You've seen a bought LaCroix in the house? No. The fizzy water, mango, pomplamoose. My my favorite ones. The 
What? Pomplamoose, coconut, mango, Dude, lemon lime. Have you been drinking these in your room all by yourself? I haven't bought them in quite a okay, while. I but I say, do. You've seen me drink a goddamn I've seen LaCroix. You. What is a LaCroix? It's a fucking can of Sparkling, seltzer water. Spark oh, like New York seltzer from back in the day. This man acts like we don't, haven't lived here. Dude, I don't I don't know. I don't. Right, either way. Anyways. But you look at a LaCroix, you hear the name, you look at the can, it's a little feminine. It sounds fancy. It, yeah, it sounds a little fancy, a little too pinky out for us Americans, so oh wow, the new one is liquid death mountain <laughs> mountain water. Liquid death mountain water. You damn right, Jonas. It comes in a tall boy. There's a golden skull emblazoned across the can, and it says that it will murder your thirst. Oh wow. To date, Jonas. That's aggressive. To date, it has been responsible for eighty thousand murdered thirsts. Whoa. That's a lot of thirst. Murdered. Wow, Are dude. you ready, Jonas? Am I ready for what? Are you ready? Are you, did you buy something? Are you going to drink it right now? Are you ready to kill yourself? I did not buy something, dude. Dude, you should have brought it on the podcast, Jonas, dude. I ain't, got that kind of, I ain't got that kind of time and or money. How much is it? I don't know. Does it have, like, real gold inside? I can tell you it's way more than the crazy town paycheck was this, <laughs> this, this dude, season. Dude, you you're blowing all your crazy town. You're <laughs> blowing your crazy town wad all over the but place. Jonas, I, look, speaking of things that go from feminine to a more masculine version okay. for us real men out there. What's that? There's another new item. Oh, dude. It's called War Paint. War Paint? Makeup for men. Wow, dude. Okay. So now you can get yourself some man concealer and you can conceal all your blemishes so you can crush the bitches. <laughs> Is that their slogan? <laughs> no, but it could be. Okay. So the commercial for this war paint. It sounds legit. Is this fucking, it's this super toned guy. He looks like a cross between MGK and like uh, fucking Wiz Khalifa. He's all tatted up, dude. He has like some emblazoned like singer on his arms. Yeah, and like, Does he have like Anne Frank on his face? He, no, it's not an Anne Frank. It's maybe a Marilyn Monroe. But either way, and he's putting on concealer, dude, adjusting his rings and just fucking being buff. He puts on a shirt similar to mine, actually. Huh. Maybe I'm cool. And he fucking gets all made up, dude, and he goes out. Does he trim his beard? <laughs> no, he doesn't trim his beard. Son of so, a bitch. So apparently they're trying to get you at home, me and you. We should get some war paint, dude. So they're trying to get, like, UFC fighters to wear makeup. <laughs> they're trying to get men to wear makeup. Yeah, but, dude, if I'm not all cut, like, Do you have well, if I'm, like... Oh my god, I'll never look like him. No, I mean, wearing a little bit of makeup, Jonas, do you have an issue with that? Like, um, say that I'd say, it, hey, look, here's some concealer. You start putting it on. You look you look good. Would that be an issue? Would you have an issue with putting um, on makeup? I, I, sure. I guess not. I mean. No? Dude, if anybody wants to wear makeup, wear fucking makeup, dude. I don't care what you do. I'm not going to wear it. What? <laughs> No, that's what I'm trying to say. It's like, oh. why Why do you have an aversion to it? This is really the point I'm trying to get to. Because I'm already pretty enough. <laughs> <laughs> da -da -da, two guns. Da -da 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 -da. We all know better than that. Hey, dude, I wear no, this look, mask to hide my pretty face. I'm just saying is that men in general, we trim our beards. We take showers. We wear clothes that we think that make us look nice. We, we do all the things, the primping and preening. Is wearing makeup really that much of a jump? Like, I understand it's a bit of a mental hurdle, but really, guys on TV who do shows similar to this Jonas, Dude. they wear makeup so that they don't look crazy on TV. Oh, is that And it's happens? widely accepted. Well, I mean... Guy liner has become Dude. just like a household name. Gonna tattoo my guy liner on this weekend. Now, I don't plan on using this product, because that's not what It I sounds do. like it. I'm just advocating for it, because I really don't see a problem with it. It doesn't make... It doesn't mean that you're... You're a, a, little, a little gay boy who likes to... Oh, wow. You know, just because you want to wear makeup. Okay. So you know? like, yeah, it'd be, I, you, know what, you know what they should do? What? Get fucking Conor McGregor to wear some into this next fight, dude. Why is Conor McGregor like the epitome for manliness for no, you? No, dude, no, because he's a UFC fighter. He's, I want to say someone who's well-known. So give me, he, give me, who's the, who's the peak of masculinity in your I mind? I don't, I don't think about it. You can say me. <laughs> <Is he> dynamite? <laughs> All right, so if I get into the UFC ring, which would be 
great. Yeah, you should, dude. <laughs> dude I, as long as there's a place to cry. What if they like? <laughs> would you fight a UFC? No, fan? dude, like, I would cry. What if like you got the losers check and it was like ten k? Uh, well, would how, you let? Would you try to fight a UFC fighter for ten thousand dollars? How long do I have to last? And how long do you I... literally just have to like go in there and try to win? Oh well, I'll just go in there and cry. <laughs> Even my fucking you have money. to like pretend you're fighting, though. You can't cry. I can pretend you can stand, not cry. You can stand toe to toe like a Mortal Kombat fighter. And Crying. Like, you can <laughs> sure. the entire time. If you cry, you get half. Uh, well, I guess I'll take half. <laughs> but would you do it if it was like 10k? Uh, dude, I don't know. I don't think so. Probably, I guess. I mean, you just really gotta take one shot. Yeah, dude. But I don't want to get hit. Like uh, getting hit sucks. It does, dude. Have you ever been hit? Not like full on like haymaker punch now. Well, the next time you get a black eye, Jonas, I know war prank can have you Dude, covered. I tried the other war day prank. to have a contest with you to see if I could hit you in the face with a frying pan or you could punch me in the face first and you turned me down. Uh, yeah, because I don't want to be hit. Well, you could hit me first. That's a simple solution. I, I had a frying pan. If I can hit you before you hit me with the frying pan, then yes. Ooh. I get to hit you. You get one shot because if you don't knock me out, Ooh, <laughs> you're getting boy, a, I'm going to do it. <laughs> you're getting a frying pan to the Ooh. face. <laughs> that is a gamble. Yeah, I know, right? It's like it's like one of those it's like one of those 50-50s where like you get one free shot, <laughs> but if you don't do the job, oh boy, it's going to fucking hurt after that. All, All right, right Jones, you got another one? I got one left, man. All right, let's go. So, we've talked about this previously. Uh-huh. Um but now, the president of Mexico, Ooh, his Mexico. name is Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador. Did you practice that? No, I didn't. <laughs> and, but I guess he's, I don't believe he's you. referred to as AMLO, because that's his initials, because it's a lot of words to say when referring to someone. Fair enough. Um, he wants to decriminalize all drugs. All of them. Every drug. We talked about this on the podcast before we went live where NATO was saying that you should maybe... That's a bad idea. But what he wants to do is he wants to decriminalize all drugs oh. and then shift all the funding that they were using to fight the drug war to treatment programs to help people who are addicted to drugs. He also came out and said he wants the U.S. to get on board and <laughs> decriminalize drugs, too. Yeah, sure, Mexico. Right on it. Uh, what he said was, the war on drugs is costly in government resources and in human lives. Uh -huh. And the supply has not even been close to eliminated. So, if all the drugs are legal, just like people are just going to die. They're not legal. They're decriminalized. Oh, there's a difference between decriminalization yeah. and legal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I mean, you still can't sell drugs, but if you get caught with them, they send you to treatment. It's like you don't get arrested oh. for having them on your person. What was the country that did that? I think you said there was a country that did that. This thing is disgusting, by the way. Uh, por I want to say, is it Portugal? There was a country that did it, and it actually had really lowered the amount of, like, drug... drug yeah. But, oh, I mean, update. I kind of get it. Denver did decriminalize mushrooms. It passed. Sweet. That was a so now if you get caught with mushrooms in Denver, they're all like, "That's it's awesome, cool, bro. You actually. can't sell them to your buddy, but you can have them." Cool. So, but uh, you know, I I am one who is for decriminalization of drugs. You know why? I don't know. So many people die fighting for drug the drug war. If like if people would just get caught and then went sent to treatment. No. Nah, dude. I don't know. Just, I, like, having heroin on you, dude. Like, <laughs> like, like people could just walk up and be like, hey, look, I got this heroin. Cops just walk on by. They do it now. Cops just walk on by. No, man, they could take you to treatment. I mean, just the, the uh, even the illusion of knowing that you could get in trouble for doing it makes it so that it's done in less well, volume. Right. But here's the thing, too. I think some of the allure people find in drugs is that they are illegal. It's like that thing, like when it's forbidden, it's interesting. When you're allowed to do it, it's like it's, it loses its luster. Uh, no. Yeah, dude. <laughs> no. Like if all of a sudden you could drive drunk, no one would drive drunk anymore. But, but all right, that's this, that's, that's this, very untrue. But okay, this this is kind of like, uh, do people drink more now that alcohol is legal versus when it was prohibition? 
Well, I mean, it was only prohibition for like three years, and it's been like a hundred and uh, just by capita percentage wise. It's been almost two hundred years since prohibition. That's crazy. Yeah, dude. But I think like per person, like Something percentage like wise, I feel like more people drink now <laughs> than it's legal well, than it did when well, there's no, prohibition. Is it, is it and more an issue. volume consumed total or per I'm person? Even, I'm saying percentage wise, if you take the population today and the percentage of people that drink legally oh, versus okay. the population then and the amount of people that drink via even through prohibition, you're gonna find that it was lower. Yeah, a hundred percent. Because when something's illegal, it's harder to get. Ah. If you made cigarettes unavailable in the stores and the only way you can get them was from your buddy, that's going to make it difficult. But the minute they start selling cigarettes at every place, fuck it, dude. It's open season on smoking heroin, crack, and methamphetamine. Sm smoking heroin, crack. <laughs> what if they mixed heroin dude, and crack? I don't like it. Dude. I'm that's... sure they already do. I don't like it. <laughs> Mexico fucking up, man. Dude, Mexico. I don't agree. There's, some sh there's a lot of bad shit going on in Mexico, man. Yeah, I, get, I mean, honestly, it's the probably better. Like, are like crazy down. And there. they may even be pressuring them. We don't know, dude. But I still think it's a bad idea. Um, I guess we'll see how it works. Honestly. I don't know if it's gonna. I mean, I don't know if he's gonna do it. I like the humanitarian ideal behind it. Like, yeah, the premise is, it's a good premise. Yeah, but right. honestly, uh, there's a lot of things that sound good on paper. Yeah, I don't know. It's a jump. It's a it's a leap of faith, and I wish them the luck. I get or Have the you best ever of luck. A leap of faith. Nope. Every morning you get out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every time you have to interact with me. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. What you got? You want another one? You got anything left? Uh, I do. Okay, I guess, sure. Whatever, you got a quickie, dude. then we'll fucking talk. I right. don't have any quickies, but I got oh, this one, dude. Okay. Oh, I didn't know you had anything <laughs> left. We'll go. We'll, we'll finish uh, up. Is it a palate cleanser? Uh, yeah, I guess so. All right. Let's go. It's, it's not really like Let's a, cleanse your palate. It's not really a feel good story, but it, okay. it's it's a it's it's a show of good faith. Okay. It's, it's All faith right. in humanity. Oh, dude. All right, so Taylor Swift had a stalker camera at one of her concerts. That a used, stalker camera? Yes, it used facial recognition so that it could identify stalkers cuz she's she's extremely popular. I don't know if you've ever heard of Taylor Swift. You need to. Look what you made me do. Anyway. What? So she, <laughs> so she had facial recognition? She had facial recognition to identify people who have been stalking her, sending their threatening letters just to make sure they didn't cause any trouble or, that they, or they weren't in attendance. Did it work? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing happened. Oh, okay. She's still alive. She hasn't been ingested. Oh, I just wondered if you were like, and they caught seven of them on the <laughs> show. U.S. Customs is constantly, currently using facial recognition at the borders to make sure uh, those certain individuals can be brought to justice. Um, also, the police use facial recognition cameras to Ooh. identify a mass shooter in Annapolis. Um, he was a gunman. They recognized his face from the camera, used the facial recognition, caught him. All these good things can happen from facial recognition. Ooh. But do you see what could happen if facial recognition were to be normalized? Dun dun. Big brother. <laughs> Dude, I also, I just read that yeah. they're going to, you're like, mm -hmm. um, that they're going to use facial recognition at airports. So yeah. that way you can just walk up to the screen. It'll recognize you. It'll know it's you and you can just go. But what also I read in the same article is you can refuse to do it and they have to check you as normal. But if you're not a U.S. citizen, you cannot reject yeah there was a lady i think it was at an airport where the facial recognition recognized her face and she was like how did it recognize my face if i this is my first time here and she was kind of freaked out by oh it. yeah dude and they're like oh well i, I mean know. they have your picture off your license uh still i don't want I mean, them dude, taking that and then just recognizing me it's a little big brother so i'm obviously dude, put at ease by you know how i feel about big yeah, brother i'm at unease about this and you should be too well it turns out that uh san francisco became the first major city to actually have a citywide ban on facial recognition yeah that's what they need more people in san francisco no, what, what does that mean? More people are going to go there. They want to be private, dude. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. not that, that. I mean, I don't know how you got to that line of thinking, and I respect it, <laughs> but it's wrong. <laughs> wow. Okay. The importance of this is that San Francisco is the home of Silicon Valley, which Ooh. is one of the biggest tech industry uh, areas 
in America. Dun dun. It's either dun. there or Austin, I guess. I don't know. Austin's pretty big too. I, I, but Austin's so tech industry's growing. Yeah. So if Silicon Valley, or at least the the home basis of Silicon Valley, okay. is saying that we do not uh, we do not adhere to the use of uh, facial recognition. It it shows a lot that the rest of the country can lead by or uh, live by. Yeah, and by. I think I read something where like one of those companies refused to sell it to the government. Like the government was trying yeah. to get it, and they refused yeah. to sell them the facial yeah. recognition. Yeah. Software. So currently, uh, I think uh, what was the other state? There was one state outside of Maryland, many Minneapolis or some shit. That's a city, but close. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready to. Oakland and Somerville have also decided to ban it. Uh, Oakland is right also, by San Francisco. Yeah, yeah, and Somerville is outside of Boston. They also did it. Okay, cool. Right now, there's a reg- regulation on it that they cannot that facial recognition companies cannot share any of your information. Oh yeah, just like Facebook and That's Google. Exactly. I was like, oh, of course, great. So you mean they are? Yeah. Already. So what they did is they just let a bunch of third-party companies yeah. build widgets for and, their software, and then, oops, you got all our data. Yeah, and that's just a bill that hasn't even passed yet. That would have that would make them uh, live under those constraints. So Whew. fucking, it, it, it's out there, man. It's, it's not happening. Being, it's not being super used. Like the police aren't just oh, going around going with be, facial recognition cans, but yeah, dude. In uh, five years ago, we weren't growing meat in the labs. Fake meat. I mean, now we are. So I mean, dude, I fucking love that fake meat, dude. It's so good. Burger King's spreading it out, dude. I know, Did you dude. Get one yet? Burger King. Do they have? Here? They? I don't think they have them here yet. Well, uh, you would think Austin would adopt that shit know, early. Right? It's fucking all about nope. veganism. They're all over fucking California, though. Oh, uh, dude. All right, guys and gals. That is all the time we have for today's episode. Thank you so much for joining us live. You can't see him even though he's on camera. Facial recognition. Okay. Please make sure to follow us on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash crazy town media live or our YouTube channel, crazy town media. What are you doing? You trying to touch me? Nothing. Oh, watch his hands, folks. All right. But for Jonas, for TNT Dynamite, we'll catch you next time. Fantastic. We are. Oh.